What's up guys? I just got Shroom Fuzz Sour Apple today. It says powerful proprietary trippy nootropic blend. Lion's Mane, Chaga, Cordyceps, Vichy, Trippy Compound. It's a proprietary blend. It doesn't contain any psilocybin or cannabinoids. It's a pack of 10, 8,000 mg. And it says take one, happy relief, relaxation. Take two, beginner's euphoria. Take three, full awakening mode. And take four, meltdown mode. I never took more than four. And I think taking four, it, it kind of like feels bad if you take too much. That's why... I weigh about maybe 165 on five, six and a half. So if you're lighter than me, <laughs> a half hyperthyroid, by the way, that means that my body may process it a, a lot faster than other people. Also for alcohol, for guys, since their metabolism is higher in general, their bodies process the alcohol faster. That's why you may see a guy needing to drink more versus if uh, somebody has a lower metabolism, such as a woman, she doesn't need as many drinks and her body processes the alcohol slower and certain people, they could stay drunk for longer. Kind of like a cheap date. And I think whenever I had a Heineken, one beer, I would be good for the night because that, that's just how my body processes it. And I noticed that if I drink too much, it, it feels real bad for me. It, it almost feels like I'm, I'm being like drained of energy or poison, essentially. And it says consume one gummy to start to establish individual tolerance. They're telling you to test it out. Increase dose and in increments to achieve desired effects. I think when I first tried the watermelon, I tried three and then I went up to four and then I may, maybe I took like a couple more, a couple hours later. I think these can last depending on if I eat, if I, if I don't eat anything, they could kick in within like 20 to 30 minutes. If I eat something like a lunch or a dinner, if I eat dinner and then I take these, they're less effective, right? Because then uh, the gummies are diluted with the food. Keep that in mind. Also hydrate too, because I remember one time I, I felt kind of like dehydrated. Maybe, maybe I didn't drink enough water. This product contains powerful proprietary blend of nootropic and ingestion may result in changes to reality, disorientation of time, hallucination. I think changes to reality are true. Because just say, for example, if I'm looking at a screen, it's slowing down time for me. And even if I'm not on anything, if I were to look at this book and stare at it, you know, my my conception of what I'm looking at it could be distorted, so that that's what I think that it is, and I don't think that I really experienced hallucination because uh, maybe in my mind I could be visualizing certain things such as like seeing a spider or an insect, and just say for example, hallucination examples. Hallucinations are experiences of seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, or feeling something that isn't there. And I haven't really experienced that. Maybe if I looked at a screen and I and I was seeing bubbles on the screen, I guess that would constitute as a hallucination. Auditory also. There's something called the Gateway Experience on YouTube. 
their meditations and last night not last night yeah last night and and two nights ago i was listening to the meditations because my mind it could be racing and it's hard for me to try and control to sit still and be still with myself and i feel like these can slow down my mind and it just could get me to to be like motionless right to to clear my mind and sometimes it's good for me to process what i'm thinking at a slower rate so that i'm not rushing what i'm thinking about because i'm pretty sure you all can relate to being busy you know you wake up in the morning and then you're rushing to get ready and not to go to work that's why uh, before I go to sleep, I lay out all of my clothes. I put my keys on my belt on my pants. I put my wallet in my pockets, my work bag. It's ready to go so that uh, these are things that I don't want to think about. And most of the time I would shower, but then, you know, sometimes I would just wash my face and, uh, you know, I would take a bird bath. If I only have like 15, 20 minutes to, before I have to leave. It also says auditory sound like music, footsteps, doors banging, hearing voices. I watched a movie. It's called My Old A, SS. And I thought that it was a pretty good movie because it explained what it would be like to try these things and to learn about yourself and there was this one young girl she saw her older self and both of them learned from each other because i could say if i could talk to my 13 year old self in all honesty i doubt that the 13 year old version of me would really listen because the mindset is different and I just didn't really understand life and, and in all honesty I'm still learning about life. <laughs> Obviously life changes throughout stages, the objectives change. I would give myself advice, I would say invest in stocks index funds, invest in books instead of universities, find the authors that you resonate with. Also, uh, certain things are tools. A lot of the times when I was young, I was thinking, what's the best way to accomplish my goal? And sometimes there is no one best way. It could be many ways. And just say, for example, the magic mind, like Think and Grow Rich. A lot of these books overlap. The Power of Now. Psycho Cybernetics. I bought all of these this year, and the only the only books I remember buying were academic books, and those books were a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars. And uh, in all honesty, what did I really get out of it? And and I honestly didn't enjoy learning out of those books. Like these books, it's like twenty, thirty bucks, and I feel like I'll get more value out of. A Dennis Swaley, New Psychology, a winning book that costs twenty dollars over a chemistry book that or a genetics book that I don't care about it. And a lot of information that can be learned online. And just keep in mind that if you need a license for work, then yeah, you know, it makes sense for you to go to university. If I had to redo it again, I would not go to university. Cause I feel like a lot of tacky jobs, you I could learn them online. And it's good to learn online, to be a student at work, to be able to learn from other people, to have an open mind, open heart, to expanding. And just say, for example, I'm 42, I know I could still learn from a college graduate because they have different perspectives, you know, they're smart in their own rights. And I feel like everybody has gifts and talents that they could bring to the table. I've always 
I'm proud to work in tech because I feel like I get to work with smart people. They're intelligent. They're articulate. They're team workers. They're articulate. And it's a blessing to be able to work in a field where society benefits from, you know, the things that they're working on to be passionate about your work. And I think that that will bring out the best results in my work. And it's good to, if I could align my professional and personal goals to be one, and it, it would make sense as to me being able to do the best job that I can. Always have pride in what you're doing. Always have pride in yourself. And I would say everybody is a programmer because I have 50 to 60,000 thoughts a day. How I'm communicating with myself. Am I respectful? Am I understanding? Do I have compassion for myself? Or am I being a, a dhat to myself and... In the past, I, I could be my harshest critic and I, I wasn't nice to myself. It's still a struggle for me. And these books, they're, they're instrumental for helping me. The main reason why I got this book was because I was watching a YouTube video. I think his name is James Howell. He's an interviewer and he interviewed James Doty. This guy is a neurosurgeon. Some parts of this book are complicated because he's a doctor. He's explaining how the mind works from a doctor's perspective. And even though I have a human biology degree, it was hard for me to understand. And I went through the six week program of manifesting. I was journaling and I was visualizing what I wanted in life. And even if I, I were to read the book and it would help me in journaling because I could see the positive words that he wrote and I could write, I could take those positive words and write what I think in my journal. If he had something that was negative, I could flip it into a positive and I'd write about that in my journal. Also for uh, the power of now. I should be present now because I can't live in the past and I don't live in the future. That's why I should use the pronouns I, me, my, myself and the now because I'm trying to program myself to change so that I could change now and into the future. It would benefit me. This book, The Secret, it might sound, sound kind of silly. But if you watch some Conor McGregor interviews, he used this book. And he won two belts in two different organizations. And he acted like he was already the champion. And that's how he manifested his success. Also for John Jones, I was watching his fight recently when he fought Miocic. You could see the energy levels between the two people. That John Jones, he, he was high energy. He was talking about being a proud American, to be a Christian. And he gave credit to God for his success versus Stipe Miocic. I still respect him because I could relate with him. He's a stoic person. He's a firefighter. Just because he didn't win the fight, it doesn't diminish what he did in the company. It doesn't diminish who he is as a man. He's a firefighter. Both of them deserve respect. And I'm just trying to evolve and adapt. And I tried everything in my life that I thought that I could do. Listening to society. And I felt like I was in a little box. And I'm trying to break out of it. Because I think that... What I was taught, it's not necessarily real. And a lot of my beliefs, they are from institutions. For example, my family, school, church, food companies, social medias, TV programming, those kinds of things. Even if I ask ChatGPT, 
generate me an image of an attractive couple, 99% of the time, it's Caucasian. And it could be programming me to think that only Caucasian people are beautiful. And if I were to think of Bruce Lee, he wanted to see himself on screen. He wanted to play the leading roles. And he had to go to Hong Kong to make movies over there first before he could be accepted. And his daughter, she helped create the movie. The show on Netflix is called The Warrior. It was on HBO, and I love that show. <laughs> Even though it has a lot of violence on, and it has a lot of racism in it, it, it will give you a glimpse as to what an Asian person would experience if they grew up during that time in the United States. Because uh, from a historical standpoint, I could understand, you know, there are certain policies and rules that were against these kinds of people and, and I could understand why from the lawmakers perspective and also for that movie The Horizon The American Saga it shows the settlers versus the Native Americans and it depends what side you're on and I, I could understand from both perspectives as to why um, they were doing what they were doing it's to, to survive, to have a better life, and I'm pretty sure they use these kinds of tactics, these manifesting types of books, because feelings, they are important, and I feel for men in general, they're not taught how to feel. They're at a disadvantage when a man is compared to a woman. Obviously, the objectives are different. But just think about it, in, in Asian culture, uh, if, if I were to see an Asian person, I will walk by them, right? Are they going to look me in the eye or are they going to look down? Because if, if they look down, uh, maybe they just don't want to be bothered. And, and I wonder if they feel they deserve to be in this country. And for me, I identify as an American. I was never born in Vietnam or China. I don't even speak the language. I've never been there. And it doesn't matter what other people think because it only really matters what I think. Um, I, I was born in New York and uh, this is who I am. And I would have to accept who I am, where I am. There's a lot of blessings to be born in this country, such as access, to information or freedoms. When I was growing up, I did get into fights in elementary school, middle school, and I had to learn how to be stronger, how to lose so that I could win, how to fight. I recommend martial arts go there. You're going to get beat up and you'll learn how to win. You'll get tougher, build self-discipline, and we'll build pride. You'll get stronger. You'll learn the arts build network, those kinds of things. And sometimes competing or sparring or being in the class, it could be a false sense of security because I remember I did Hapkido at self-defense Korean and we did certain ground moves. But then when I went to Half Gracie Jiu Jitsu, those guys are on another level. That they they were just amazing on the ground and and I couldn't do anything. That's why if I if I were to do one solid year of BJJ, one solid year of you know kickboxing, striking and then self defense as well, it would give me an idea of how my body will work and a lot of a lot of things that were reaction based. Cause I I remember doing knife drills where we would use markers. And then pretty much if, if I get marked up, it's a cut. And I, I could take punches in the face, I could get kicked in the face, but I don't wanna get stabbed, you know? And I, I feel like I, I could get in, but then I would get cut getting in. And I, I know I'm not fast enough or skilled enough to to be using these kinds of things, that's why 
for like the, those kinds of weapons, I'm, I'm, I will back up if I could. And also, I'm, I like this author, Napoleon Hill. He wrote this book in 1937. A lot of the information is still applies today. It still applies in today's time. And he also wrote a book. It's called Outwitting the Devil. And it shows how I could be manipulated as a person through food or certain substances or rated R type of things. And if I could figure out how life really works and how it can be manipulated, I can spin the tables and play in my favor and try and bend the rules in my favor. Also this book, The World is a Mirror, Nada Amari, I only read it one time. I, I listened to I listened to it, somebody read it once and then I read it and it's an easy read. I got it off of Amazon. I thought that it was a good book, but it, it's up to you to interpret it. Also, this Power of Now book, the first time I listened to it and I read it, it was complicated. And Corey Wayne, he wrote the book 3% Man. He says, read a book 10 to 15 times to fully understand the book and study practice every single day. This book is free on YouTube. It probably shouldn't be because I, I got a copyright strike for posting this up. Uh, this Reality Transurfing book, it was 60 bucks on Amazon. I haven't even gone through most of it. They have, YouTube has this for free if you want to listen to it. If I listen to a book on YouTube and I like it, I'll buy the Audible and I'll buy the book and I'll study it. This book, The New Psychology of Winning, I recommend it. He wrote The Psychology of Winning in 1970 and he said he wrote this book because he was failing in life and he wanted to self-improve. At the time, him and his wife split up and then, you know, he was going through a custody battle. I like him because he's honest, he's humble, and he would admit his mistakes, and he gives life advice. I think he's 92. He gives good insight on if he could give his younger self advice, uh, what, what would he do? And he, he said that he would laugh more, he would be in the moment more versus always rushing. He would spend more time, you know, in nature, he wouldn't take himself too seriously. These kinds of things on a lot of these books, they reference religions, especially this book. This book would reference Christianity, Buddhism. It, it references other kinds of religions and he doesn't necessarily identify with a religion and it reminds me of martial arts where I would take certain aspects of a martial art and whatever works for me, my body style, and also depending on an opponent, to uh, try to be victorious in that match or drill. Because I notice if a person has a big you know, frame up top, I won't be able to lock in an arm triangle on them because my arms are not that long. Versus if it was a skinnier person, uh, these things could be locked in easily. It's good to be humble. It's good to to train with people that are on your level or above your level so that you can test your limits. And on, if I were to train with somebody who is a lower ranked, I'll, I'll let them get me in moves and top me out or whatever. You know, it, it's all about if I could help them train and then they, they will help me train later in the future, that's what it's about. It's not always about winning. It, it's Sometimes it's about sharing and giving. I'm not saying be nice to the person, but, you know, push them, push them and then 
sometimes if I could destroy somebody, but then does it make sense? Maybe not. It's also good to, to be in a sport and to release your energy to channel it in a gym and a safe space versus if I was on the street doing these things, uh, it would have different kinds of consequences. My company that I currently work for, they have Modern Health and it's a life coach. I tried them out for two, two or three sessions. He asked me, how can I help you? And this was after I told him my life story. And at that moment, I felt like this guy can't help me because he didn't grow up with me. He doesn't understand me. And he's a doctor. His parents are doctors from India. That means that he's upper class. He came from a better family than I did. That's why I feel that maybe you couldn't understand my problems because they're, they're unique, you know? Everybody carries a certain amount of bricks and everybody's trauma is unique to them. For example, when I was a baby and I was crying for my mother, I was stressed out versus now I am, um, I'm struggling with other other aspects of my life. So the trauma can be different as a five month old compared to an adult. I think journaling, it's important also for inspirational quotes, they're important. I like this page because it has values on it. And he says, pick your top values, write them out. I could define them to, to know what they mean. And technically for all of these values, I think everybody can have all of these values. It's the degree the, of separation for everybody that they're utilizing different values at different times. For example, accountability, I, I need to be accountable for myself so that I could be honest with myself to self-improve. I don't want to baby myself too much. It's a balance, right? That I, I want to change for the better. And I would need to track my progress, track emotions, track finances, track macros, track working out. Achievement, everybody has some achievements, everybody has gifts and talents. To be adaptable is important. Adventurous, altruism is important. Not to care about a lot of things. For example, in my opinion, after the presidential election, a lot of people were sad. But then I said, I don't care who wins because I will be successful regardless. And it only matters to me who sits in the seat is me. And obviously, the stock markets went up, you know, after the presidential elections. That was cool. It just depends on where. Where where are your values? I feel like I'm more conservative as a person. And it's more about security to me, to, to maintain safety here. So, what else? This Psycho Cybernetics book is good. It's free on YouTube. You can get a PDF for free. Google it. Maybe it's the older version. The majority of the content is the same. And this book is about a neurosurgeon. And he talks about two cases where... He did plastic surgery on somebody where he had a scar on his face and his emotional level, his attitude, it changed for the positive. And then he was also talking about this one woman from royalty. She got a nose job and after the surgery, she still felt ugly. That means it goes into the psychology of how you feel about yourself. And I was thinking... This guy, he got into an accident and 
his sales started to go down. I think he was a lawyer, actually. And he started to uh, lose confidence. And just say, for example, for me, I don't have any defects. I was born in the United States, and I was probably one of the only Asian kids there. And uh, for me to look different, I, I felt like that where I, I lack confidence, I, I didn't love myself. I felt like an outsider, and that's probably why I attracted bullies, I, I attracted racism to me, and I'm accountable for that. Because I, I honestly didn't like myself as a kid. I didn't like my name. Nobody could pronounce my name. And I was thinking about my first name. Nobody could spell it. If you're not Vietnamese, you can't spell it. And it's because <laughs> no English words start with H-U-O. There are a lot of words that start with H-O-U. House, hours, hound, those kinds of things. And that's why I would have to understand it's nothing personal, right? It's, it's more cultural. This book also has practice exercises. Um, this edition, it was written by Matt Fury. And he trained with Dan Gable. And another Olympian wrestler. And he, he was talking about how uh, he, he was an accomplished wrestler. And he was trying to win the top spot. And he tried for a couple years and he never got the top spot. And he, he, all, he always felt like a loser kind of. And that's not necessarily true because he, he won divisional championships. And he should... He is proud of winning those things. And I, I feel like no matter how much I can accomplish in life, that I, I would always be seeing the things that I don't have. And it's good to be content. And it's also good to be hungry. And how can I balance these things so that I could have a balanced life and, and I should also have the drive to push for more. Because I know I could be operating at a higher capacity. That's why I, I needed to unlock. You know, I, I need to become someone different. Because for me, I feel like I'm an average person. And I, I want to be the best version of me. It's my duty to be the best version of me. That's why I was doing a lot of research on ChatGPT. I asked it to analyze my personality based on the questions that I was asking it. And it pretty much said that I'm an INTJ and I'm, I'm pretty curious as a person. I can be analytical. I was also thinking for titles. For example, I noticed a lot of people on YouTube, they went to high level schools, they're doctors or engineers, those kinds of things. And uh, their channels popped off and I, I would be looking up at them and then, um, if, if I compare myself to them and it's not a fair comparison, right? Because I'm, I'm not at their level and technically it, it's a personal journey that, that I'm on and eventually I, I, will, I will make it in uh, well, whatever I'm trying to accomplish in life that uh, whatever happens, happens. For example, to have to be outcome independent. Why is it important to be outcome independent? It's because if I'm trying to drop to 150 pounds and I'm getting frustrated, I'm manifesting frustration. I'm putting out negative energy versus if I don't care, it's a balance. And for me to say every day I'm working on this and I am making progress. It takes time. It's kind of like a fruit where if you wanted an orange, you wouldn't necessarily be mad that the tree's not growing oranges in a data winter, right? Maybe your trees grow oranges in a data winter, but then there's, there's seasons to fruits, on like a peach tree. I, I, lo I love the peaches where I, I used to live, they're so good. 
and they don't they don't stay on the tree for long. The the window is short. That yeah, that's kind of how I would have to think of life on to have faith that uh, things will work out. To have have an imagination, to be understanding, and to to have wisdom and knowledge to be able to understand the rules of life, the laws, how things work, and be able to strategize them to have the best quality of life as possible. And I, I was watching a YouTube video and, you know, different kinds of countries on uh, some people are saying even for a 40-year-old, it could be a struggle in terms of finances and I personally don't have a kid. I live paycheck to paycheck. And for this year, I'm trying to pay off my, my car within 12 months. And I could rock the loan out. I should just rock it out and start buying uh, Bitcoin and, and index funds. Because pretty much I, I, had our, I only use like $7,000 on a vehicle. And that's... 11 months so that that's pretty good and I, I am proud of myself for doing it i would just have to see it's kind of like a bike where i would be changing gears and changing focus depending on the landscape of the environment it's good to be worthy of buying a book 20 bucks or you can get it for free on YouTube, Google it, feel worthy of um, educating myself to be able to buy certain services. Even if I'm paying 20 bucks for ChatGPT, it's an investment into me. It's a small investment versus, I remember when I went to university, uh, one credit's like a G, right? So <laughs> it's better ROI. For me to buy these things, maybe a course. Um, I remember buying a YouTube course, and it was expensive. It was what nine hundred bucks, and and in all honesty, it was worth that amount of money because it's education. And if I were to be paying for something, I would be I would have more skin in the game versus uh, some people. They just want things for free. And some things can be had for free. Some things can be organized and packaged for a fee. It just depends on, you know, where you're at, when you're at. Because maybe if I wasn't working, then I wouldn't be able to afford it. Versus uh, now, wow, why not buy these little things to, to try to improve myself? I'm assuming I have many years, you know, <laughs> I have many years to go to be able to learn and improve on. I remember during the Mike Tyson fight, I didn't even care about it. The, I was actually reading the Joel Osteen Bible. And I'm not religious, but then again, I grew up in the United States and religion, it's baked into society. They say state and government are separated I would disagree. They're integrated because in my opinion, you can't separate religion from a person because that's their beliefs, those that's their ideas, right? A lot of books they reference religion. And uh, a lot of things I learned from Neville Goddard. He has three books, they're free on YouTube. They're free and they're short. They're about one or two hours each. I'm pretty sure I could find them for free on Google. If I, I should find the PDFs for them so that I could study that more in depth because it's different from when you're listening to something versus when you're reading something. And the way he's spinning Christianity is he's saying Jesus is a representation of you. You're Jesus, I'm Jesus, Jesus was a man in real life, and God is in the imagination. He's in my imagination, 
that Christ has been born than me through those books because I agree with what Neville Goddard was saying and about manifestation about the resurrection that it's kind of like a butterfly where you have a caterpillar and then it's transforming into a butterfly but the resurrection is I'm destroying the old version of myself. I'm deleting the old version and I'm resurrecting as a phoenix. And I, I can relate to that story because I would be trying to improve myself, you know, every one to two years. And it's a blessing to be able to be able to do these things. And, you know, what are the chances of me being born? It's one in 700 trillion something like that that means that i won the lottery every day you won the lottery every day it's the perspective that i could have if i could be more positive more optimistic i can have a better life try to be more happier and i could understand that it's like a moth in a flame where if i'm seeing the news or somebody's talking to me about uh, negative things done I'm, I kind of just want to limit it and it doesn't matter who it is if it's your family friends associates if they're negative Nancy's limit the time cut the anchor or limit the time um, prioritize yourself I am my king in my reality you are your king or queen in your reality you're the most powerful person in your reality on your chessboard, uh, there are certain pieces on a chessboard that may have to be sacrificed for the greater good of the kingdom. And I was also thinking about a pawn. If I have a pawn and it gets to the other side, it becomes a queen, the most powerful piece in the game. And that could be a representation of a human. It could be a representation of you. That's why I'm saying spin the stories in your favor and i know i could get backlash for for saying you know turn water into wine to forgive myself so that i could forgive you or if i said i'm the son of god god is inside of me and god is in my imagination and i am god in my reality that i could relate to that and some people would disagree and that's all good you know um, you're interpreting things different from me and, and I grew up different from you I accept that we're different and just say for example which book is better mind magic or psycho cybernetics I could argue why this book is better and I could argue why this book is better that means that if we are arguing different sides of the coin both people can be right and just say for example you can't have two gods you can't have two captains or two main chefs in a kitchen two pilots you know because if, if I think that I'm, I am a creator I'm creating my life my heaven and hell on earth right now and if I'm being split in two directions it doesn't make sense it, it doesn't serve me to to believe in those things and also if i'm pedestalizing an external then you know how, how can i really change myself if i'm i'm comparing myself to buddha or bruce lee it doesn't make sense because i would always be number two and it, it makes sense for me pr to prioritize myself. Even Napoleon Hill, he wrote that book, Outwitting the Devil. He wrote it in the 1930s and wasn't released until 2011. Because back in the days, if, just say for example, if a man said 2,000 years ago, I am God, he would be killed, right? Because... Uh, those kinds of beliefs, they're not acceptable. But if, if a person like Kanye West, if he said, I'm a God, nobody cares about it, right? And in his own rights, 
Hey, he's a musical god. He's a crea- he's a creator. He's a god in his imagination, and I, I can respect that. All. I can understand. You know why? Why he's saying these things? Hey, if you ever listen to artists such as like Tupac, Biggie, Nas, Eminem, they can all say I'm the best, and they can all be right in their own regards, in their, in their niches, in their craft, because they are successful, right? I, I could I could see it. Alright. Uh, that, that's all that I got for today. Oh yeah, I'm, I'll go back to this. So, hallucination, tactile, feeling, touching, body movement, and a body that isn't real. Bugs crawling on the skin. So, in my mind, I was picturing bugs I didn't necessarily feel anything crawling on my skin and keep in mind there's no cannabinoids in these there's no amanita I did buy amanita gummies and they work I just think they're different the the feelings different and the gummies that I bought on e420.com they were cheaper, they were half the price, versus these ones are 40 bucks. So it's four dollars each on Amazon. Four times four is 16 bucks. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. Cause um, I get to experience my emotions and, and I get to learn about myself. I know that I should be producing more, I should be speaking more, learning more. And one thing that I learned when I went to Toastmasters was I thought I was learning how to become a better public speaker. In reality, I was learning how to speak to myself because I know that I could be harsh. Sometimes I'm not respectful to myself. And for example, if if I drop this, I could say I'm dumb, but that's not true, right? Because everybody makes mistakes. It's all good, you know? Just brush it off your shoulder and keep it moving. Audit what you're doing in a day. Are my beliefs my own beliefs? Or are they someone else's beliefs, an institution's beliefs? Am I being manipulated by online content, institutional content? And do I agree with my current programming? Is my current software going to get me to where I want to go? I think that it's the journey. I would have to I would have to become a different person to unlock different levels because what got me here now it's not going to get me to the next level. I I would need to change and, and I would need to to hustle more. And just say, for example, for me, I'm 42, I'm relatively healthy, you know, I'm working, I have benefits, I live in the United States, I have my functional abilities, I have a lot of blessings, I don't have a house, I don't have kids, I'm not married, you know, these are like old school beliefs that I ain't got it like that. And, And it's all good, you know. I don't have a house. I will get one later. You know, later on in life, I'll figure it out. And uh, these kinds of relationships, I need to build with myself first. How I think in my mind, how I think in my heart, and how I think I will project out to other people. That's why I said it's my duty. It's my mission goal for me to be the best version of me doing anything i could be doing anything my any of my passions and it's all good that i I would figure it out along the way on in the past i I felt i wasn't doing enough i I felt like a loser and life is different stages and each stage would be a level it's kind of like super mario right where You know that Super Mario mushroom? It reminds me of Amanita. It looks just like it. Maybe the Japanese, they knew. They knew what's up with that mushroom. And you have your baby Mario, and then he takes the mushroom, and then he grows into a bigger Mario. And then 
he could get a flower so that he could throw fire and then you know he's just he's just trying to defeat the dragon to get the peach you know what's up right and that that's what life is and just be aware be patient you know shoot your shots in cells for example if, if i approached 100 people i went to the car dealership to do a recall on my honda crv and i asked the dealer i can create youtube videos on cars and if you could present the cars and to sell it i could put your contact information in the video and i gave him my name my phone number my email and he said i'll think about it and you know out of a hundred people somebody's gonna say yes to me because it would be a mutual benefit in a sense that if you give me access to these cars technically i could just test drive the cars and i do a review on the side i did it in the past but it's more i want the dealer's expertise i want to be the customer and then talk to the dealer and present the product, the car, the services, the warranties. It's a win-win in my opinion because he's doing it at work, you know. <laughs> that's his job. That that's his that's his bread and butter, right? And I would be creating these videos with my equipment, the software that I have. It, it makes sense, you know. Because I would see these guys on YouTube where they're doing product reviews, you know, technically everything that I have. Just say, for example, this watch. I bought this watch in 2005. It's a Seiko. And, you know, for this locking mechanism, it's, it's loose. Technically, the lock, it's broken now. But if I... If I put it on and I push one side, only push one side to lock it and then it stays in place. Does it make sense for me to buy a brand new watch that's $400 from Casio? It's a G-Shock. I'm thinking about just returning it, but then on the flip side, I should be interested in investing in myself. Technically, I could just fix this for 60 bucks or I could push one side and then it stays on. It still works, right? Also, for my Mazda Miata, all of the cars that I bought, I was thinking, was it worth it? And I would say no. If I could go back in time, hindsight 52, hindsight 2020. If I could go back in time, I would not have wasted money on a Mazda Miata. I would not have wasted money on nursing school. I would not have wasted money on modifying the vehicle. I should have just bought investments. I should have just bought stocks and courses to, to learn and grow. Because these books, they're a better investment than university, in my opinion. And a, a lot of things can be learned without a license. And... It goes into psychology. If I could understand why I'm attracted to certain things, what draws me in to wanting to watch this content or to read these kinds of books on, even when I go to work, if I see a coworker and then I would just ask him, do you read any books? What books changed your life? 90% of the people, they don't read at all. And if, if you see famous people online, the majority of them read books because it cuts out the noise, they're cheap, it's more introspective, you know, there's no YouTube ads, YouTube ads on these books. But take it with a grain of salt because uh, I would have to determine if these beliefs align with my own and that's why I said find the books that resonate with me, with you. Find authors, uh, study famous people, because I, I think that, for example, Bruce Lee, he, he grew up in China. He was, uh, he grew up in the United States. And I'm pretty sure he had struggles, you know, being an Asian person in the United States. 
like the, these little things that you know other ethnicities might not experience that's why it's important for me to to learn from other people and just say for example for this book he's 92 92 years old that means that he went through a lot that means that he lived more than twice my my years that I've been alive. I wasn't even alive on. He said, he said a lot of kids don't have an imagination because they're watching videos. And I was wondering why is imagination important? Because imagination, it talks about manifestation. It's the visualization. And it's important for me to visualize what I want to do versus, you know, what, watching something on Netflix that doesn't serve me or that. That's why now I'm purposeful with everything that I do. And a lot of the times when, for example, my friend, he was talking to me about cats, dogs, his coworkers, like shit that doesn't matter. And it's like, I have no interest in listening to what you're talking about. And I would be more selective because when I talk about myself, I talk about me. I don't talk about externals that has nothing to do with me. And I felt like I was trying to talk to my friend so that he could improve certain things about his life. And, you know, I could understand because in the past I, I wasn't ready to change either. And I had to be on rock bottom. No job, no lady, you know, I, I was super depressed. That's how I, I turned my fuel into, you know, I, I turned my pain into fuel, essentially. That's where that everybody suffers in life. Buddha, Christ, Bruce Lee, Martin Luther King, Lincoln. Everybody suffers on everybody dies but not everybody lives on if, if I could figure out how to evolve faster I would have a better quality of life and you know I, I hope everything is going well in your lives and uh, God bless you God bless me you know get good sleep it determines your day focus on blessings be optimistic study practice every single day journal meditate you are the king, you are the queen, whoever you are. You're the most important, most powerful person in reality and I wish you well on your journey.